Hello everyone and welcome to Nick Cyber. Today I will show you how you can install any of the Android APK into your Windows Phone. So for that you should be on Windows 10 Technical Preview and as of now only some of the devices are supported. So these are the devices that are supported and you cannot convert all the apps. Uh, there will be some issues and I will not recommend any of uh, you to install Android apps on your primary phone. So as the tutorial is not official, so in that case there may be chances that your device may be damaged completely and uh, you may lose access to your device. If you still want to use Android apps, then you can continue. So for that first you need some of the apps that have, so I have placed the links in the description. And now let's go to the, so first of all you need to install it, the SDK tool so I have placed the link in the description now the next thing what you need to install is the phone connect uh, these are the files that you need to connect your phone to PC and the other thing is the Java development kit now after that go to your Windows phone and go to the settings section and type in developer so it's already there for developers and so you need to click on the developer mode and the developer mode, mode should be enabled right now right now now click on yes and you also have to click on the device discovery to on and after that click on the pair button here And this is the RAR file. So when you extract that, you will get something like this. Now these are the files inside the RAR file. So you need to install these two files: the IP over USB install and the some we see something this file over here. After that, right click on start menu and you must open the command prompt as admin. Now go to the phone connect folder and you need to note down the location of where the files are stored. And you need to type in cd space the location and press enter. Now you are at the location of those files and now go to your windows phone again and keep it turned on and after that you need to type the wconnect.exe command and up put a space and type usb so as you are connecting your device as usb you need to type USB and if you are connecting your device to Wi-Fi then you need to type in the IP address of the device uh, over the position where USB is being typed so now it is creating a session and when it is ready it will ask for the code so you need to enter the code that is displayed on your phone so mine is L2E1 and 0 so you need to type the same in the command prompt and after that you need to press on enter so now your device is paired with your computer now after you install the android SDK now open that so it will take some time to load and So it is getting loaded now and so what and another thing you need is the android sdk platform tools so that thing is necessary for that so mine is already installed so you need to check that box and install it in here and it will get downloaded automatically so after you install uh, you will see that those files will be available on the platform to store them so these are the files so 
open the folder and remember the location or copy okay so the platform tools folder open that and copy the address or the location uh, the files are stored and again type in cd space and paste the location and press enter so now you are at the location of the platform tools make sure so my android app that i want to install is already in the folder so if you want some other app place it there and type the app space install command and go to the android app that you want to install and mine is the imo file so the file name is com.imo.android.im or something like that so you need to copy the file name including the extension that is .apk so after you copy paste the file name after the adb install command and press enter so after you press enter you can see the file is getting installed in your windows phone so it will take some time to install So now our Android app is successfully installed. Now let's go to the Windows Phone now. So as you can see, it is available in the recently added app. And as of I have tested that, that app works perfectly. And let's open it. So this is the loading screen that you will see in all of the apps. As said, it works like charm. And now. So that was my easy tutorial of how you uh, can easily install all the Android apps. So right now only the app that does not use Google service are supported. So I think that if you search on Google you will find ways to install the Google service application also. So that's it from the tutorial now. So if you have any doubts, you can comment down below. Or if you have installed any of the Android apps, you can always comment down your experience with that. And if you like the video, you can always press the like button. And if you want more videos like this, you can press the subscribe button. So thank you for watching the videos. Signing off next time.